required to pay for water consumed. Government absorbed the full cost of water for every Ghanaian for six months ending 31st of December due to the pressures brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. That gesture by government has come to an end and consumers will now have to repay vet to payment of bills so how does this work the community water and sanitation agency is responsible for supply of water to rural communities its chief executive is walanyo kwejo siabi he joins us via zoom for more uh engineer walanyo siabi thanks for your time first of all give us the details of the free water delivered so far and how you're winding down uh thank you very much and thank you for inviting I think we lost engineer. I think we lost engineer Walanyo there. We'll try and get him back on the line. We're still live on the pulse. And of course, you remember when the government took three months cost of uh, water supply and then it's added another three months which ended in december and now we would have to revert to payment of water bills we'll be finding out how this works out for many of you out there who have been enjoying the water supply for six months engineer walanyo is back and i'm asking uh tell us what you have done so far and how you're winding down yeah so far uh, we have uh provided free water to rural communities and small towns. And these are uh, specifically communities that are not served by Ghana Water Company throughout the country. And there are a number of service providers uh, who were part of this, uh, uh, this intervention. We have Community Water and Sanitation Agency. We are managing about 152 five systems across the country in all the system regions. We also have uh, some communities managing the water system itself. And these are, uh, we, call, we call the teams that represent these groups, we call them uh, water and sanitation management. We also have private companies that are delivering water in rural communities and small towns. And we also have non-governmental organizations also delivering water. So this category of uh, water service providers, they were part of the, this initiative. And uh, what happens is that every month they are supposed to uh, submit the bills that were supposed to have been paid by uh, individual customers to the district assemblies. And the district assemblies will submit these bills, they will collect from all the communities and submit to community water and sanitation agents. And then we will submit these bills to our minister and she will forward it to the Ministry of, uh, uh, ministry of Finance for uh, reinvestment. And then we also, once the, the payments are made, we, we send all to uh, these assemblies and then they pay the, the community. The, the reason why we did is there are so many of these water service providers. In fact, we counted more than 1,500. So it was difficult for uh, CWS, the head office alone, to do this. So, but we thank God for the cooperation uh, from all the stakeholders. And uh, we were very successful. And there were very few issues that were very successful. Uh, if you permit me, I can also uh, add that there has been a, a lot of uh, commentaries concerning oh, when the free water ends, government will come back and build people for this payment. No. Government has already paid. And the reason why we will always, we were sending the bills to individual customers is that we want them to know how much they have consumed every month and then also how much the same bill, how much government is paying on their behalf. And the same bill, uh, we will want the consumers to know that, yes, there will be audits at the, at the point. And so once the auditors come around, they will be able to show them that, yes, this is what government has paid. And we can... We can so as we speak now, in five days, um, that 
luxury will end and people would have to now pay for the water they consume. What happens mm -hmm. from the 1st of uh, January yes, 2021? The there, are, there are a number of categories. We have institutions, we have uh, 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 customers who fetch water from the sunpipe. We also have customers who have the water in their houses. They will, those who have it in their houses, they will be built at the end of January. So they have they do not have so much to uh, talk about now. Like those who are going to fight from the standpipe, they will have to pay immediately after 31st of 2020. That is 1st of January. But COVID is still around. So how are rural folks expected to cope in this situation? Do you have a plan for them? Yes. Uh, if you look at the, the release, uh, are you talking about the, the, the water services that the country? Covid is there, but I think that it has it has not it it, it both on a little bit, and then the relief indicated all the protocols that everyone will observe, especially those who are will go to the sandpipe and fetch water. We advise strongly, and our colleagues at the water system level, and even all the other communities, we advise them that yes, social distancing is there. We we advise that they should avoid overcrowding. And we want to make sure that at least the, the service that we will provide will be the same, so there will not be any need for for many people to to get crowded. In the number of communities, also we have we have provided some new technology where you don't need to go there. We have smart tags where you can go to the sunrise at the time that you want, so that you don't have uh, you don't have to wait for anybody to come and open the tab before you fetch water. How about those who cannot afford, uh, because of course you agree that during this COVID time you need more water than uh, you usually will need? Yes, um, that dispensation will end, but our, our colleagues are there. Really, if generally some groups of people cannot, they will have to uh, look at our, uh, meet our, our staff and have that conversation. Yeah, but we are talking about, you know, previously what was happening. At least for the for those in the for those for the private uh, those uh, who were connected privately, they will even still have to wait up to the end of January before they are supposed to be communicated to them for the But our concern now is those who go to the standpipe. I'm grateful for your time, Engineer Walanyo Kesiabi, a CEO of the CWSA.